one was hard, very, very hard. Today I'm going to be doing the top five, bottom five of one of my all time favorite brands, Charlotte Tilbury. If you're new to my channel, obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury over here. I think they are my top two of the most well-rounded brand in terms of if I had to pick one brand to use my entire life and only that brand, Charlotte Tilbury would be up in the top two for consideration. You know, Pat McGrath is the other one. But this was hard because Charlotte Tilbury had so many good items. I had a hard time narrowing it down to the top five. And then the bottom five, I don't hate all the products in the bottom five, but we'll talk about it. I'm going to be alternating. So let's start off on a positive note, get into the first top five product from the brand that I can't live without, that I have to hold on to no matter what when it comes to owning Charlotte Tilbury. And this isn't necessarily a makeup product. Charlotte Tilbury has pretty good skincare, but I love the Magic Cream. Now I have heard people saying that the ingredients in here aren't special. I don't know, the performance speaks for itself in my opinion. I have more dry skin and I find that this Magic Cream sinks into my skin so quickly, which makes it perfect before applying makeup, but it also is quite intensely hydrating. So I do have drier skin and I find that when I put this on, my skin has an instant plump and glow to it and it's perfect and ready for foundation to go on top. So I love this moisturizer. I use it as skincare. I use it as makeup primer. And this is something that I will always have in my collection from the brand because I genuinely believe it gives me instant results and instant hydration and my makeup looks better on top of it. It is a pricier product from the brand. I do recommend buying the smaller size if you don't want to break the bank. Definitely wait for sales if you can. But this is my favorite skincare product from Charlotte Tilbury and I really do believe it's magic. Let's go into a worst bottom five product. This is a foundation. Now, generally speaking, I'm gonna say I'm not a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury's foundation. She has one that I like for full coverage for events, but it still isn't perfect. But I really did not like the Beautiful Skin Foundation. Now, this one is a bestseller. There's lots of people who swear by this, but in my experience, my skin does not look good when I wear this. I feel like you need to have perfectly smooth, poreless skin for this to look good because your girl has texture, your girl has pores, and I find that this foundation really likes that aspect about my face and just emphasizes those. It sits very, very heavy on my skin. I have it on today. It does leave a decent glow, but I find it because it is heavier that that glow makes me look kind of sweaty and dirty looking, not in a good way. Less is more with this foundation. I can get it to look decent if I just use less. So today my skin I feel like looks pretty good, but even when I apply it well, after I wear it for a while, it then goes back to looking heavy, sweaty, oily, showing off all the pores and textures on my face. So unfortunately, this one did not work for me. It was a huge disappointment. I was excited because prior to this being launched, I really didn't like any of the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. So I was hoping that this would be it. This would be the one, but it's just not flattering on my face. Okay, let's move on to a positive. The second best product, and this isn't in any specific order other than application order. So I love, 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 love the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I didn't want to initially put this in my top five list because I feel like the product itself is boring, but it is essential in my collection. So this has the most beautiful, soft fragrance to it. I tend to like fragrance. I know some people are sensitive to that. So just be warned. But the performance on this is also spectacular. I genuinely believe that this does make my makeup last longer. And have you seen those videos where people will put eyeshadow or lipstick and then use this spray over top, let it set, and then when you go like this, the makeup doesn't budge? That's because this actually works. I think it works better than Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And call me crazy but I think this setting spray makes my skin look more blurred. I feel like every time I spray my face with this, instantly my skin looks more airbrushed. So somehow, some way, maybe it's in my head, but this makes my makeup look better and smoother and it makes it last 
all night. So even though I considered this a boring product for this video, it's my all time favorite setting spray. It does everything and more that a setting spray should do. The next product that is the worst, I don't have it because it was the worst. It is this concealer right here. Oof. Okay, so first of all, the application itself or the applicator itself is very unsanitary. I found that the sponge got really hard. You can pull it off if you would like, but not only do I not like the applicator of it, I don't like the consistency of it as well. It creases like crazy and it also looks very thick on my under eyes. So I find it ages me like five years whenever I wear this. There's no saving grace for this product. No under eye cream or powder can fix this. No matter what, this looks thick, cakey, and dry on my under eyes. And I just, I don't see how it works for other people. You know, I feel like with the foundation, I could have seen this working for some people. I don't understand this concealer. It is one of the worst concealers I've ever tried among the whole range of luxury, high-end, and drugstore. This was one of the worst concealers that I'd ever tried. She did launch a new concealer this year, which is, which is better. It's not amazing, but it is better. Don't buy this concealer. Buy the new one if you want a Charlotte Tilbury concealer. Moving on to another best, let's talk eyeshadows. So I think when Charlotte Tilbury has a good formula, she has an amazing formula. Now it is hit or miss, and I will talk about that a little bit later, but these three are must-haves in my collection, and the actual colors themselves aren't necessarily unique. However, the quality is so good. The finish on the eye is so elegant and I don't know, it just looks like a luxury product that I have to talk about these because I need this formula in my collection. It seems as the years have gone on, Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadow formula has gotten better and better. So the one that I'm wearing today is the shade Pillow Talk Dreams. This one came out this year and it is so stinking good. The mattes are super pigmented, but they still blend out with ease. And the shimmers look really flattering on the eyelid. They're very dimensional without making the eyelid look, I don't know, crazy or anything. It is the most beautiful formulation. So the ones I recommend are Pillow Talk Dreams and the Queen of Glow. So those are the two that you can purchase now if you're interested they have the best formula. This one was discontinued, but if you can happen to get your hands on Fire Rose, this one is probably the best of the three. But I am picky about which Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quads you should pick up because they are inconsistent. Which brings me to another bad product, another worst product. And I pulled three of the luxury quads from Charlotte Tilbury to share with you that I don't recommend. These are all of the older launches from Charlotte Tilbury. And I feel like when she first started off her eyeshadow range, the formula was not worth the money at all. So these are three color stories I recommend you stay away from. The Bella Sophia, the Vintage Vamp, and Glamour Muse. You can tell even just by touch that these do not have the moisture and creaminess that the new formula does have. They don't pull on the eyes the same. The mattes I find in the bad ones don't blend, they look patchy, and they have so much less impact. The pop shades in the older formulations also just are quite messy over the eyes definitely not worth the price point at all. So take my advice on this. Some of the Charlotte Tilbury quads are amazing and some of them are really, really bad. So if you're trying to steer clear of ones that aren't the best of Charlotte Tilbury, stay away from the three that I just mentioned. Okay, positive turn. We're gonna move on to the fourth best product from Charlotte Tilbury and it has to, has to, has to, has to be the lip cheats. These are her lip liner formulation. So not only does she have a beautiful formulation, but she also has the best, most natural range of colors as well. I'll share with you my favorites, but formulation wise, these apply quite creamy, but they also have an extremely long lasting time. So even though, you know, there's no drag when you apply, which typically the ones that do have drag in our dryer will last longer, these somehow manage to be creamy, but also not to budge. And because of the color range that she has, she has the most perfect natural colors to completely reshape and contour the 
the lips. So my four favorite colors, the one I'm currently wearing right now is the Pillow Talk 2 Medium. This one is kind of a my lips but better and making it perfect to make my lips look just a little bit more plump. I also like Iconic Nude for that kind of contour shade that's really popular right now, a soft brown. So Iconic Nude is great for that. And then Love Trap and Super Size Me are also very close to my lip color that I enjoy using, just with different tones, maybe a little bit more depth. But these are my four most used lip liners. I also use Pillow Talk a lot in my makeup kit. Moving on to the worst, the fourth worst product? No, the third? The fourth, <laughs> yes. So this has been discontinued, but in case you see them trying to get rid of it anywhere, please steer clear. This is the Charlotte Genius Magic Powder. This is her loose setting powder. Buy her pressed powder, not this powder. This one I find dries out my skin and it also smells weird. I just feel like there are so many other better powders that you can pick up, not only from her brand, but also other brands as well. It's not something that I would direct you towards if you're looking for the brand and to purchase from the brand. And I honestly can't get over the smell. It's just unpleasant. There's no sweetness to it at all. It's not quite chemically, but it smells like butt. I don't know, it smells bad, okay? So I don't like this powder. Not only does it smell weird, it makes my skin look more dry. It doesn't do my skin any favors. I am almost never reaching for this. Like I said, it's been discontinued, thank goodness. But if you happen to see it, don't waste your money. And then the final best product from Charlotte Tilbury that I have to recommend are her lipsticks. Honestly, if I could only own one lip product, it would be a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, particularly the Kissing formulation. She has a beautiful matte formulation, which are in the couple of shades that I have here to share with you, but the Kissing formulation in particular is my favorite. It's like a shiny lipstick. It has a little bit more thickness, very, very hydrating, but still extremely long wearing. And just like the lip liners, she has the best color range as well. I can't get over these lipsticks. They are my literal number one all-time favorite lipstick formulation, both the matte and the kissing, and it just makes it better that the packaging is so nice, and of course that color range. So the shade that I'm currently wearing is In Love with Olivia. It's a gray everyday pink, your lips but better situation, and you can see how it has the shine, and it's very, very comfortable, but it's not too shiny. It's not like a lip gloss or anything. Some other colors that I really love as well. Oops. Hey Honey is my good luck lipstick. It's kind of like a very pretty milky brownish nude shade, and it's in the kissing formula. Nude Kate is also gorgeous. It's my favorite nude color that's a little bit more neutral base. And then Cover Star as well. It's a matte revolution formula, but it's the perfect nude to put in the center of the lip. So those are my four most used shades but I have a whole basket of her lipsticks that I am constantly reaching into because she has, in my opinion, the best formulation on the market. And the last worst product, the last product of today's video from Charlotte Tilbury are her matte eyes to mesmerize. Now she has a shimmer formulation, which is a lot better. I'm still not in love with it. I do find that that formulation can crease on my eyes if I'm not careful, but the matte is intolerable with how bad these are. Creasing is not an issue with this, it's blending it out. These are the most dry <laughs> eye creams I have ever, ever, ever dealt with. As soon as these touch air, they harden and you cannot get them to move at all. I was able to make these work for me a couple of times on camera for reviews and such, but just use the powder eyeshadow, okay? Those are a lot easier. These are very difficult to work out. If you are not skilled in makeup, I can't see anybody using these, especially like the darker colors. Diffuse Black and Chocolate Veil, near impossible to get work. I can still make smoky taupe work for me if I use a synthetic blending brush and I can get that in the crease, but at that point it's just like, why? Just just use a powder eyeshadow or a different 
brand altogether if you want to use a cream-based formula. And there we have it, you guys. Those were my top five, bottom five products from Charlotte Tilbury in 2022. As I said, Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite brands, so they have a lot of other products to offer in their line that I really love. I'm wearing a lot of her products that I love today. I, I can't get away without mentioning these, okay? Like right now, I'm loving the Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. That's what's on my cheeks right now for the color and glow. I use the Airbrush Bronzer, which is really beautiful. Lately, I've really fallen in love with her under eye corrector and list of products that I really enjoy from the brand But I could only pick five so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found that helpful Share below your top two top three top four top five whatever you have Favorite and least favorite Charlotte Tilbury products feel free to share your experiences your skin type, etc And yeah, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.